Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. In the previous sessions, we explained some tips and challenges that you may come across when working with Joe Server. In this session, we will discuss some tips when working with SLA styles in Joe Server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of these videos. Using JPG format for external graphic. Joe Server supports various common graphic formats like PNG, JPG, and SVG for external graphics as mentioned before. These formats allow for flexibility and customization in visualizing show special data in web applications. Here is how you can use JPG format for an external graphic in Show Server. Navigate to the Style section from Data menu. Click the Add a New Style. Then enter JPG graphic for its name. From the list of default styles, select Graphic Point option, then click on the Copy link. Enter JPG external graphic for the title of a style in lines 10 and 13. Select external graphic tag from line 16 to 19. Then click insert image button at the top of the style editor box. To upload new symbol, select choose file button and browse to a JPG file on your system. Then press OK. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click on the layer name above the preview box. Then select Tiger column POI layer. As you can see on the screen, this style is not displayed correctly. To fix it, simply edit the file format from JPG to JPEG on line 18 and then click Apply once again. Click Save button. Setting color field from attributes. Sometimes it's possible to define a style by using a special field such as color from attributes information of features. This can be done in the contents of data visualization where different colors are used to represent different categories or values within a data set. Here is an example of how you can set it. Click add a new style again, then enter color field property for its name. At the list of default style from style content, select point and click on the generate link. From the style editor box, replace the title elements with color field property at lines 10 and 13. Now add the codes that you see on the screen. Validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns errors, click on the Apply button. Switch to the Layer Preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select Hospitals Layer. As you can see on the screen, the Hospital Layer is not visible. Can you guess the reason? Because the workspace associated with this layer is an isolated workspace, so you can see it aside from anywhere else. In order to get familiar with the concepts of isolated workspace, please refer to the link below. Switch to the publishing section and click on the hospitals flag to make this style the default for that layer. Click on the save button. Go to the layer preview section and open up the open layers preview for the hospitals layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen.
I think multi-attribute labels. One possible issue that may arise when using the label element is white space handling. According to the XML rule called collapse, all leading and trailing white space within the label element must be removed. However, any white space or new lines within the middle of the element are collapsed into a single white space. So, what if you need to insert a new line or sequence of two or more spaces between your property names? Enter C data. C data or character data is a special syntax used in XML to include text that may contain characters that could be misinterpreted as XML markup. In server SLE styles, C data is used to enclose the content of text based elements, such as new lines, labels, and titles, in order to avoid any potential issues with the special characters. So let's try it. Click the add a new style again, then enter multi attribute labels for its name. At the list of default style from style content, select polygon and click on the generate link. From the style editor box, replace the title elements with multi attribute labels at lines 10 and 13. Codes that you see on the screen in line 24. To auto format the editor contents, click the reformat button. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select a states layer. You have built a simple polygon with multi attribute labels. If you want to improve the default label style by setting some options such as centering the label on the polygon and specifying a different font name and size, visit this link. Click on the Save button. Adding a custom legend in Joe Server. The Add a Custom Legend feature in Joe Server allows users to create and customize legends for their map layers. Legends provide information about symbols, colors, and labels used in a map and help viewers understand the map's feature or data. Users may use this feature for customization, complex symbology, or non-standard data. They can create an image or HTML file representing the legend and configure Joseber to use it for a specific layer. Joseber also offers automatic legend generation, but the custom legend feature provides more flexibility and control. To add a custom legend in Joe Server, you can follow these steps. Create a legend image. Use an image editing tool to design your custom legend. Save the image in format compatible with Joe Server, such as PNG. Make sure the image dimensions and file size are appropriate for your needs. Upload the legend image to Joe Server. Go to the style section and click on alpha channel from the styles list. Click on the preview legend link to view the automatic legend generated by Joe Server based on the codes that would be in the style editor box. Now click on the add legend button, then select the choose the image link to upload the legend file. Next click to choose file button and browse to your image, then click on OK. Click on Auto Detect Image Size and Type option to automatically fill in the width, height, and format of your image. Then click on the Preview Legend link again. Click on the Apply button. Configure the layer to use the custom legend. Switch to the Publishing section and click on the SFDM flag to make this style the default for that layer. Switch 
to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select SFDM layer. As you can see, your custom legend is visible on the screen. You can also view the custom legend using the WMS Get Legend graphic request. In order to get familiar with the concepts of WMS service and its operations, please refer to the link below. By following these steps, you can add a desired legend to your server for your layer or group. In this session, we taught you some tips that you may come across when working with SLS types in your server. Now the intermediate training course for your server software is over. From the next session, we will start the advanced level that will explain the different parts of Joe Server in a completely professional manner. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around some tips and challenges when working with Joe Server, we recommend you to watch the suggested videos. Have a good time!